What's going on doll fans? Uh, so I just finished my workout in case y'all were wondering uh, But as I was doing that I was thinking about something and so uh, It had occurred to me and I wanted to uh, make a quick video about it uh, right before I Go shower and get cleaned up and move on with my life, right? So um, What I thought about is is so you know this whole thing about culture and you know Adam Gase or I mean, I'm sorry, Omar Kelly was like, ah, I don't believe in the culture, blah, blah, blah. And there were tons of reports from like national media outlets and even from like Omar Kelly that the players really disliked gays. Now, I disproved that. Well, I didn't disprove that, I reported it. Um, you know, cause there were tweets from like Albert Wilson and from um, uh, Kenny Stills that, you know, refuted those or disputed those reports. Um, and you know, uh, Armando Salguero tweeted out and posted a picture of a text message text message conversation that he had with Adam Gase. You know, in in which he said that you know he's going to be cool, he'll figure it out. Uh, you know, and as soon as all the players and coaches, you know, stop coming to his office to say goodbye and wish him well, uh, you know, he'll he'll land on his feet somewhere. So what? had occurred to me is is you know over the past few years despite what people may think I think that we've had really good drafts for which Greer and Tannenbaum and Gase apparently deserve no credit apparent from you know the national media and most Dolphins fans um, but what had occurred to me is you know when Adam Gase came to the Dolphins you actually started seeing a lot of players like let's say Albert Wilson who wanted to come to the Dolphins to play for Gase that was actually a pretty common theme when you know you saw some of these guys we were getting in free agency particularly Danny Amendola particularly over the past year or so so and with the draft picks right so what it occurred to me is is now Adam Gase is gone and now He's with the Jets. So now, all these players that Gase brought in uh, to fit his mold and his culture, now they have to face him twice a year. So I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know what's going to happen. We obviously have to wait and see. But I wouldn't be at all surprised if all of a sudden, even a lot of these you know, young players, these young ascending players that we've gotten in the past few drafts, if they get sour about this whole situation, not only did they get rid of their coach, their guy, but now they have to play against him twice a year. So if we end up losing a lot of our talent and stuff because of that and guys don't wanna come play, I mean, there have been tons of reports about in the coaching search you know, in the national media, ah, oh, who would want to go, who would want to go coach the Dolphins? They're just a dumpster fire. They're a wreck. They're in despair and so on and so forth. And I'm sorry, but with what uh, Stephen Ross did this offseason, we weren't, we weren't going to be in this position. We were, again, on the verge of, you know, creating something special. If it wasn't for unfortunate circumstances that we had no control over, injuries, hurricanes right so you know like I said we have to wait and see how it all plays out but if that happens if we start losing some of these key players some of our, our stalwarts and our staples that we've had then you know don't be surprised I mean you know Stephen Ross said hey uh, he basically said hey it's a full rebuild and uh, you know it could take one or two or three years before we even you know or, or even competitive hope to be competitive you know and he said that he hopes he hopes that he doesn't have to endure a 3 and 13 season before we get there but unfortunately you know with the actions he's taken logically speaking with you know from a logical perspective based off of history things we see with other teams things we've seen with this team and this franchise and with the way that he makes his decisions you know I mean, I just personally don't have a lot of confidence that it's going to work out right. And in one of my previous videos, I talked about how, you know, getting rid of Gase now, especially, uh, and eventually if we get rid of Tannehill, which unfortunately seems lucky, or lucky, uh, likely, excuse me, um, 
you know, for all you Tannehill haters, I know you want to see that happen, but if that happens, man, we are going to be at the bottom of the AFC East because you still have the Patriots probably for another couple years, and we were going to be the team that challenges them, but I don't feel confident we're going to be that anymore with the way that, you know, Stephen Ross is handling this. You know, so we have the Patriots, then we have two teams with good defenses and up-and-coming young quarterbacks, and now one of those teams has, you know, the our previous head coach that did a lot of good things despite everybody want to make, you know, wanting to make it seem like he didn't do shit. Uh, but now he's going to go do it there. And like I said, again, for the like millionth time, I hope, I pray, I'm not a religious person, but I pray that I am wrong. I hope Adam Gase has a good career because I like him and, you know, I wish him well, but, you know, I, I don't want to see us be shitty and terrible and then the Jets, you know, blah, 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 blah. But unfortunately, you know, it looks like that's the direction it's going in. So, like I said, just wanted to get some, some things off my mind, some things that came up and that I thought about that I wanted to put out there, you know, because again, I like to get y'all's opinions and see what y'all think about it. Um, but again, you know, at the end of the day, facts do matter. You know, the data and the, the reality of things matters. So, you know, I'm making these predictions or what have you based off of the information I have from the past. Um, and we won't know if I'm right or if, you know, everybody else is right until we see, you know, and this next year is certainly going to tell us a lot. Um, so anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy my videos. I hope you guys enjoy my perspective. Um, if you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Quick side note, I'm getting very close to 100 subscribers. I really love that. I appreciate you guys. Keep it coming. You know, the more it grows, obviously, the more I'm going to be able to do for you guys. Um, you know, and I'm, I've got things planned and things in my, in my mind, you know, in the works, uh, trying to always find ways to improve. So make sure you hit me up. Uh, leave your questions, comments, concerns, your recommendations, things like that in the comment section. I do love interacting with y'all. Um, and of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up.